Hey guys, welcome to this video on time management keys. Time management is a critical skill that can help you achieve your goals and lead a more fulfilled life. In this video, we'll discuss some essential time management keys that can help you improve your productivity, manage your time better, and achieve your goals. We'll discuss multitasking, the productivity principle, the importance of having a clear mind, how to use your digital calendar as a time buzzer, and how to say no to others and yourself. So sit at the table and get a paper and pen to write down the important keys. So let's dive in. First of all, talking about multitasking. Multitasking can be both a bone and a bane. There are two types of multitasking. Number one is backtasking and the other one is switch tasking. Let's talk about backtasking. Backtasking is the process of multitasking, where we perform multiple tasks that don't require our full attention simultaneously. It means performing tasks that are related to each other, like listening to a podcast while cleaning your room or watching movies while eating something. And this can be a good habit. You can do this with no problem. However, switch tasking means performing multiple tasks that require our full attention, which can lead to trace, loss of productivity, and time waste. For example, it means switching between writing a report, answering email, and talking on the phone. It is not a good tasking. You shouldn't do this. Switch tasking is a time thief. Why? Okay, I'm gonna explain it to you. You can see four vertical lines and filled up two lines with switch tasking is a thief and mathematics number in the picture. Now you need to write this text on your paper with playing stop timer and see how much time it takes to write down. Okay, now do it. After that, write the same thing with switching. Like this first study your stop timer, then write like this S1 W2 I3 T4 C5 H6 and continue. Then compare the time before and after. I think you got the result. So this is why switch tasking is a time thief. Okay, now let's talk about the productivity principles. The productivity principle is based on three things, space, time, and mind. We'll discuss each one of them in detail. Let's start with space. Having a clear physical and digital work face is crucial for managing your time effectively. A gathering point is a location where completed or unprocessed items gather, which can lead to chaos and trace. It could be physical like a file holder or digital like an overflowing email box. Having multiple gathering points can lead to confusion and time wasters. The recommended number of gathering point is less than 6 for both physical and digital space. Now let you know about unprocessed tasks. An unprocessed task refers to something that needs to be done but has not been organized or acted upon. There are three important considerations when dealing with unprocessed tasks. It's related to mind. What are you going to do with that task? You don't know. It's important to clear the purpose and desired outcome of each task so that you can prioritize and schedule it effectively. Number two, it's related to time. When are you going to work on the task? You don't know. Scheduling is crucial for managing your workload and ensuring that important tasks don't get forgotten or delayed. Number three, related to space. Where does the task belong? You don't know. It's important to have a system for organizing your tasks so that you can easily find and work on them when the time comes. So these are the things about an unprocessed task. Gathering points are the places where tasks accumulate before they are processed and organized. Here are some examples of gathering points. Gathering points can be physical or digital. Let's explain something about this. Physical inbox. This is a designated location, such as a tray or folder, where you can put physical items that need to be processed. Examples includes bills, receipts, and documents. Portable inbox. This is a digital version of the physical inbox, 
where you can capture task on the go using a note-taking app or other digital tools. Notepad. If you have a thought or idea that you don't want to forget, then write it down immediately in a notepad or digital note-taking app. Email. Email should be managed in a specific way, such as by checking your inbox only in the morning and evening or by using filters to sort messages into different folders. Messaging apps If you use messaging apps for work or personal communication, try to limit yourself to on-app so that you can easily keep track of your message and avoid distraction. Overall, having a system for managing unprocessed tasks and gathering points can help you stay organized and on top of your workload by clarifying what you need to do, when you need to do it, and where it belongs, you can reduce stress and improve productivity. Okay, now talk about the mind. Having a clear mind is essential for managing your time better. Avoid putting unnecessary pressure on your mind and use a notebook to store all your important notes and ideas. Create a second brain using Notion or any other tools to store all your frequently used content, text and passwords. Having a clear mind. It's important to keep our mind clear so we can focus on tasks at hand without being distracted by other thoughts. Try not to put unnecessary pressure on your mind. For example, don't overload your mind with too many tasks at once or try to remember everything without writing it down. Instead, use tools like a to-do list or notebook to keep track of your task. Notebook, the second brain. A second brain is a term used to describe a system for organizing and storing important information that you want to be able to access quickly and easily. This can be achieved using tools like Notion, Obsidian, or OneNote. By creating a second brain, you can store all your important text or things in one place, such as password, frequently used content, or notes from meeting. This helps to free up your mind and allows you to focus on the tasks at hand. Quickly clearing To quickly clear your mind and stay on the top of your task, there are few things you can do. Do it now. For only process task, if a task is simple and can be done quickly, do it right away. This helps to clear it from your mind and prevent it from piling up on your to-do list. Create a task. You need to create a task list. For more complex tasks, create a task list and prioritize the tasks by importance. This helps you to stay organized and ensures that you don't forget everything important. Book a time slot. You need to book a time slot on the calendar. If a task is large and requires a significant amount of time to complete it, schedule a time slot on your calendar to work on it. This helps you to break down the tasks into manageable chunk and ensure that you have enough time to complete it without feeling overwhelmed. And the third principle is time. Managing your time effectively is crucial for achieving your goals. Use your digital calendar as a time budget to avoid wasting time. Always make a calendar list for every day and avoid multitasking. Use a digital calendar as a time budget. Six tips for managing your time effectively. Number one, think of time as money. Just like you budget your money and you should budget your time like this. If you think of an hour as being worth a certain amount of money, you'll be more likely to use it wisely. For example, if your on hour value equal $10, then a week 168 hours would be worth $1,680. So you have to think of your time as money and don't waste it. Always make a task list for every day and block out specific time for work, instead of multitasking which can lead to loss of time and fatigue. Number 2. Avoid double booking at the same time. Make sure you don't accidentally book two appointments at the same time. Number 3. 
write down appointments immediately. When someone suggests scheduling something in the future, don't delay. Your memory to remember it instead putting it on your calendar right away. This helps you avoid the stress of trying to remember everything and ensure that you don't miss important commitments. Number 4. Schedule buffer and travel time. Leave extra time between appointments or activities to account for unexpected delay or travel time. Number 5. Think of your calendar as a commitment to others and yourself. When you schedule something on your calendar, treat it as a commitment to yourself and others. Don't leave room for uncertainty or last-minute change. Stick to the time you budget in the calendar and be disciplined about it. This point can help changing your life. Number 6. Think long term. Many people feel like they don't have enough time to get everything done. But they're only thinking in terms of the short term. If you expand your perspective to months and years from now, you'll realize you have an abundance of time. Schedule tasks and projects deeper into the future, whether it's on month, six months or even a year. By doing this, you will be able to prioritize your tasks and allocate your time more effectively. Say no to others and yourself. It's also a very important topic. Saying no to others is important for establishing boundaries and prioritizing your needs and goals. It can also prevent others from taking advantage of you or overstepping your personal boundaries. Saying no to yourself is also important, especially when it comes to temptation that offers immediate gratification, but you can harm your long-term goals. Learning to say no requires discipline and self-awareness, but it can help you achieving your long-term goal and lead a more fulfilled life. Okay, now you need to see how much time do you spend each day on each task. Calculating how much time you spend on each task can help you manage your time better. It involves taking your time spent on different activities like sleep, food, classes, transportation, work, and taking a break. Knowing where your time goes can help you optimize your time better and eliminate time-wasting activities. For example, if you sleep for 8 hours, attend class for 3 hours, spend an hour on transportation, work for 8 hours, take an hour break, and spend an hour cooking, an hour exercise, and an hour on skill development, you'd have spent 24 hours of your day. In this case, your free time would be the remaining 5 hours of the day. However, this is just an example. An amount of free time you have can vary depending on your individual circumstances and how you prioritize your time. So find out each tax time spent. Okay, now let you know how to budget your time with three simple methods. Let's repetitive task, set priority, block time. Let's repetitive task. The first step is budgeting your time is to make a list of tasks that you do repetitively every day. This could include things like checking emails and social media, preparing meals, commuting, etc. By identifying these tasks, you can begin to see pattern in your day and where you may be able to free up time for other activities. Set priority. Once you have your list of tasks, the next step is to set priorities. Once we to do this by using the Eisenhower matrix which is a tool that helps you determine which tasks are important and urgent. Important but not urgent, urgent but not important, and neither important nor urgent. By focusing on the important and urgent tasks first, you can ensure that you are making progress toward your goals and not just reaching to whatever comes your way. Block time. After you have prioritized your tasks, the next step is to block time for them. This means scheduling specific time in your day or week to focus on each task. This could include using a digital calendar to schedule time for work, exercise, hobbies, etc. By doing this, 
you can ensure that you're devoting enough time to each task and not getting overwhelmed by everything you need to do. Calendar Integration Finally, Integrating your time budget into your calendar can help you stay on track and visualize your schedule. By blocking off time in your calendar for each task, you can see when you have free time and when you need to be focusing on a specific task. This can also help you avoid double booking and ensures that you are making progress towards your goals. In conclusion, time management is a crucial skill that everyone should develop. To budget your time effectively, you should list your repetitive tasks, set priorities using tools like the Eisenhower matrix and block time for your most important activities. It's also essential to integrate your time budget with a digital calendar to stay organized and avoid double booking. By thinking of time as money and being committed to your calendar, you can increase your productivity and achieve your goals. With consistent practice, you can master time management and lead a more fulfilled and satisfying life. Thank you for watching this video on time management and budgeting your time effectively. Remember, Time is a valuable resource and by implementing the tips and strategies outlined in this video, you can maximize your productivity and achieve your goals. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more helpful content on personal and professional developments.